Hello, NJRoot22.com here for another video. We're not calling it Cheap Wine Reviews anymore. It's not Cheap Wine Reviews. I got all this crap in front of me. It's freezing cold again. It's winter. When I find a better studio to do my fruity little videos here, which I'll keep doing, because I just like doing them. I'm gonna wear this oversized jacket here. So we're not doing cheap wine reviews anymore because, let me make sure it's recording, lights on. Recording, okay, great. We're down to, damn, three bars out of three. Anyway, I'm not doing cheap wine reviews anymore because I don't like the way I feel when I drink wine. I'm done with it. So today we're gonna do, I guess, how to make a really good drink that can keep you going for a long time. And I highly recommend this. This is the Smirnoff Spiked Sparkling Seltzer. Now these things here, I'll show it under, I have a new little system here I'm, I'm trying out. I'm not trying to be like a YouTube person, but this is uh, Smirnoff Spiked Sparkling Seltzer. As you can see in front of my, I have a third camera or second camera set up. Something just fell and I don't know what it is. I think it was batteries. There's some uh, AA batteries that rolled off. Anyway, I'm not drinking red wine anymore. I'm doing the Smirnoff Spiked Sparkling Seltzer because they have zero sugar. So we have these things. I'm starting off with my least favorite flavor. It's cranberry lime. As you can see, cranberry lime. And what I do is I get a Oh, you Starbucks cup, I, re I reuse them, you know? Like, uh, I should be really, like, appeasing the uh, recycling cracks. I don't throw the plastic out. I mean, I'm not doing it because I care. I do it because I like the, the, the Starbucks cups for some reason. Um, so here's my Starbucks cup filled about halfway with ice. This is a 30 ounce uh, jug. And what I do is, oh, pause. Okay, back, 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 back. So what I do is I, um, I use like one, two, three, four ingredients. So what I'll do is, I have my ice, right? And what I do is I take some, uh, I go to the health food store and I get 100 capsules of ginger root. That's ginger root there, it's nature's way. I can't really find another brand of this uh, anywhere. So then I take one capsule out. This is like my medicinal healthy. And I'll put uh, one capsule in, into the drink, like so. And as you can see here, it goes into the, into the drink like that. And then what I do is I'll take my, today I'm using Polar Seltzer. This is, uh, I got them from Job Lot, Ocean State Job Lot for about a quarter, 30 cents a can. And what I'll do is, oh, I forgot one thing here. I'm opening up my Smirnoff Seltzer. I normally use fresh lemons, but when you're out of fresh lemons, take this uh, Cilia, Cecilia brand of, make sure you get the organic, the organic one. So there's some bad ingredient, I forget, some sulfur something, something or another. In these squeeze bottles, these lemon squeeze bottles, the organic, this organic one's about the only one I can find, there's one at Wegmans too, but that doesn't have a bad ingredient in it. And it's really nice. So I'll take like one, two or three squirts, one, two, three, four today for this purpose. There, I, so I got lemon, ginger. This is gonna be fantastic. And then I'll take my, uh, what do you call it? Spiked sparkling seltzer, pour about half, and then take, Make it all fuzzy, and then it'll get all fuzzed up to the top. You wait a minute, and all the ginger's getting infused, as they say, infused. And then I'll finish off the thing, just to make sure, so I want the whole can in here, because, again, this is four and a half percent alcohol. It says somewhere on there. Four and a half percent alcohol, zero sugar. You can read the fine print there. Um, and when I make it about 50-50, uh, seltzer, I mean, it's maybe, it, the ice melts, so the seltzer really more than uh, makes up for it. It comes out to about like a two and a half or you know, 
two to two and a half percent alcohol drink. And I made a mess. Great. But and I, I have the lemon, the ginger, my spike malt beverage, and some uh, seltzer. I put about eight ounces of seltzer in there. The ice will melt. And uh, not only is it refreshing, it's ridiculously refreshing. It's also very um, a very good way to, to pace yourself with drinking. Um, it's sort of like a like a weak mixed drink. You know, when you get a mixed drink at, at, at a bar, let's say uh, I want a vodka tonic. It's like 40 uh, 40 percent alcohol in, in the uh, in the vodka, and they put you know an inch or whatever. And the rest is soda and ice and whatever else you mix your drink with. That's ridiculous. That's like a glass of wine. And I've always drank my wine half or a third water. This is the ultimate in low, low alcohol. It's like low fat, low whatever. It, what happens with these mixed, these uh, malt beverages is, is profound when you make it like this. Because you can't water down beer and most wine, like some wines are not good at watering down. This at 2%, you know, you, get, you catch a buzz after two or three. And what I've noticed is, the first time I reviewed this, I drank a whole 12 pack, which was the equivalent alcohol of two bottles of wine. Um, that, I felt okay the next day, but that was just too much. Even with water, I think I ended up drinking almost three gallons of fluid. My, oh my, that's, not, that's probably not healthy. Um, but I've noticed that my consumption level varies quite interestingly. Uh, sometimes I've had only two cans of this. That's the equivalent to a third of a bottle of wine of alcohol. Um, I think I hear the phone ringing. No, I'm hearing things. Um, because six, six cans equals one bottle of wine, alcohol, give or take. You know, I'm not, a, I'm not going to be like per perfectionist here. So. Having two cans is like drinking, like, what, that's like a glass or two of wine before bed. Sometimes I've had three, sometimes I can go four or five. I mean, the other day, I, it took me like five days to finish a 12 pack, or four or five days, which is amazing because I used to drink two bottles of wine a night. Um, and that's, that's really, really ridiculous. So this is, this is the recipe for, for the, uh, the new drink that I'm drinking regularly, until the foreseeable uh, future, unless something comes up that I might like better than, you know, that's very low sugar. My, uh, my weight has dropped a little bit since I stopped drinking wine, and I just feel better the next day. My liver pains have, have, have subsided almost, you know, 90%. Um, it's amazing. But, all right, that's it. That's this incredible drink. Adding the supplements and, and it's just such a refreshing drink. It's, it's ridiculously refreshing. And I don't crave it, by the way, as much as wine. I, I can milk it. it, it's amazing. But what we're doing with this channel now, I, I used to publish uh, cheap wine reviews every Monday, which I'm still gonna have a new video every Monday. And this is, you know, Monday the, seven, what is it, the 17th of um, December. But I'm going to divide my, I'm adding new channels to my YouTube channel on here and njroot22.com. And this is a rough draft, but it's going to break, break down into four, four new channels, basically. And I'm having a little bit of trouble here of ironing out exactly what it's going to be because I, I have to think about how I'm going to create content regularly. So it's not going to be a new video every week, a new video from the same channel every week. I'm going to have about four channels and there's gonna be a new video once a month uh, for each channel. So over the course of a year, the four channels will have three new videos in each one. I'm sorry, not a year. Uh, if it's one a month, about, so it's gonna be 12 new videos a year, basically. <laughs> My math is not getting all messed up. 12 new videos a year for each of the, the 12 or 13 13 new videos a year for each of the four channels. And so far, my, my channels that I'm, I'm going to create are, um, one's gonna be general reviews. It could be a review for a business, a store, a restaurant, a product. It's gonna be uh, uh, some kind of review, uh, 
it might even be a haul, one of those product hauls. It, it's gonna be a general review about something. My second channel, and this is the one I'm probably the most excited about, and it's also gonna be the one I'm, uh, it's gonna involve the most amount of work. It's uh, helpful hacks and tips. I don't know where I'm going with this, but a couple of things I'm going to do are like repairing things, like live on camera, whether it's a toy for kids, or, or just some sort of life hack. I hate using that word because there's a website out with the same name. Um, but it's gonna be some sort of little hack. And I, I don't go on YouTube looking for hacks. I do, I figure out my hacks on my own most of the time. Um, I'm not saying I haven't checked something out on YouTube. Uh, when I'm really stumped, I'll, 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 I might check the, the interwebs. But I, I really take a lot of pride in figuring out things on my own because there's a long lasting benefit for figuring out things on your own. And that is um, muscle memory and, and trial and error and uh, learning what not to do is just as important as learning how to do it. Because if you get the instructions of how to do things all the time, what do you do when, when the instructions stop coming? You don't have any experience doing things the wrong way. I'm gonna turn the, the garage light back on. There we go. Motion sensitive. I must be really not moving much. Sorry, that's the that's the second uh, channel I'm gonna do is some sort of fix, some sort of hack, some sort of like tip. It's gonna range from you know a 30 second to one minute video to maybe a 20 minute or 30 minute like tutorial. I, I'm gonna figure out something. I, I enjoy making videos, so I, don't, I we'll see. I'll get my groove eventually. I, I'm doing this like very very much part time. So. And the third zone, or channel, is going to be the kitchen zone. Anything related to, to the kitchen in your house. Whether it's cooking, like I might do a recipe. I mean, that's, that's a long drawn out. I mean, recipe videos, the YouTubers have gotten so good. They have six or eight cameras, and they're cutting and chopping, and they make a recipe into like a two minute thing because nobody has attention spans anymore. They don't want to hear the subtleties in conversation and body language. They just want to know how to do it. And that's, that, that, I, that, that makes me feel kind of um, bummed out because I, I miss the days of picking up little things from people. But the kitchen zone will be either, you know, also may include products or tips uh, for the kitchen, but it's everything specifically related to kitchen or eating or food and that type of stuff. Uh, and I may just run that for, for a short period of time and, and add a new channel in, in its place. And the last thing, the last channel is, I could probably contribute the most amount of content to this last channel, but I'm gonna try and go easy on it because I think it, I'll come across as somebody who's like a little bit of a cynic, which I am, and which is fine. But it's going to be a, a more like societal issues, society, societal, um, not just from the human being standpoint, but from the products that we get, like how everything's getting cheaper. And I'm going to point out these things, how the, the, the quality of things is, is declining uh, before our very eyes. Um, I mean, I, I, I could just do a, a channel on declining quality. And that doesn't sound too, you know, uplifting or anything like that but it's important to document for for posterity for history for just society we society needs to have both good and bad you can't be positive all the time and, or look the other way and not say anything when something is is needs attention so if you don't bring it to the attention of these companies that are really skimping for whatever reasons, whether it's their own profit or it's to appease the, the people crying about the environment, um, something suffers and it's usually me and you or you and I or us that, uh, that suffers as a result because when things start not working and you have to spend more money, who, who, who has to, who, who gets less? We do. Um, and I don't feel good about the environment or when I do something like, oh, I, I put this in a different bag today. That doesn't, doesn't make me feel any better, okay? Whoever does feel better because of that, they're full of themselves. It, it's all fake. It's, it's completely fake. So those are the four channels that I'm going to uh, start adding content to. And I hope uh, one day that uh, 
my readership will go up or viewership will go up and that's that. Um, I will edit this video and put it online and uh, I'll see you next week and we'll see which uh, my first of my new channels will be. Um, my guess is I, I really want to do a repair video but and I was filming one and it got way too complicated. It was a, a much harder repair than I anticipated it to be. So I had to scrap that and in its place, this video of me doing my lap, like a very good drink that I'm gonna be drinking probably for the next six or 12 months and my announcement about the new channels coming. So that's it. I hope uh, I get some more readers or viewers and that's it. Have a nice week ahead, and oh, it's gonna be Christmas, uh, Christmas Eve, the next time my video goes up. Maybe I'll do something Christmas themed. Take care.